rusting dear students here you can see a few pictures with a reddish brown coating can't you this is nothing but rust when an iron object is left in damp air or water for a certain time it gets covered with a red brown flaky substance called rust before we go into the details let us perform an activity here we have taken three test tubes and numbered them as 1 2 and 3 in the first test tube we have given a small amount of calcium chloride so that it helps to dry the air in the second test tube it is filled up with boiled water so that we can remove the air or to better say dissolved oxygen is totally driven out in the third test tube we are pouring a small amount of water now you can see the picture of few iron nails these 3 to 4 iron nails are dropped in each of the test tube and the mouth of the test tube is closed after 3 to 4 days the nails are taken out and examined carefully in the first and the second test tube there is no change that is there is no rust but in the third test tube the nails are being rusted so from this activity we can see the conditions required for rusting is that the presence of oxygen of air and water or water vapor or moisture is required for rusting so the chemical equation for rusting can be presented as fe plus oxygen plus water we get fe2o3 which is iron oxide here you can see two pictures a coastal area and b hilly area can you guess where rusting will occur faster yes the rusting of iron will occur faster in coastal areas because the air in those spaces contain lot of moisture now rusting is actually a corrosion of metals like iron and steel as it converts a refined metal into a chemically stable form such as oxides and hydroxide so we can see rusting is an example of chemical change here you can see a number of pictures all these are made up of iron so rusting can be very costly 
if we have to constantly change the iron items so rusting has to be prevented rusting can be prevented in the following ways